In this video, we're going to be learning about the Overview tab. The Overview tab gives you a snapshot of everything that the teacher is going to be wanting you to complete in a particular course. First, go to the course that you're enrolled in. Then, make sure you've clicked on the Overview tab. You'll see the plans for the course appear. I do want to draw your attention to the fact that not all teachers will use the Overview tab. You may jump directly to the Resources tab, so don't be alarmed if you don't have anything in the Overview tab. When you're in the Overview tab, you'll see the plans that your teacher is planning on you learning from. In this case, you'll see the first part of the plan is Astronomy Chapter 1. If I click on Astronomy Chapter 1, I'm even able to get a more detailed idea of what the teacher is wanting me to do. So you'll see here's what the plan is, Astronomy Chapter 1, the dates that it, the course is going to be running this particular lesson for, you'll see a description of the lesson, you'll see any standards that could be addressed for that lesson, and you'll also see the resources and activities that are a part of that lesson. And if you scroll down, you may even be able to see more plans that the teacher is wanting you to accomplish. This isn't always the case. It depends on if the teacher has that active at the time or not. I'm going back again to the Overview tab. When we're back in the Overview tab, you'll also see that you have a Tasks area. The Tasks area lets you know what is coming up that you have to complete. And you'll see here that there is a task for you to complete that's due on Monday. And it is this particular activity right here. You'll see that those are under the active tasks. You can also click on the completed tasks and you'll be able to see what you've already fulfilled in your lesson. You have a section that's for events. This is where you have a calendar that will show you items that are coming up that the teacher wants to draw your attention to. This could be field trips, something you should be bringing to school. It could be something that the teacher just wants to make sure that you're aware of, like possibly an upcoming vacation. When you click on the Go to Calendar link, you're taken to the calendar in your course where you can see on specific dates what happens to be of importance to the teacher to include. You can also on the left side deselect courses so you're only viewing one course. You can also reactivate those if you would like. It depends on how many items you'd like to have displayed on your calendar. Now that we've come back to the Overview tab, we can scroll down the page and see more that's included. We have announcements. This could be something from as simple as the teacher saying, hey, welcome to the day. This is going to be a great day, so let's make the best of it. Or it could be a reminder that your Chapter 1 study guide is due by the end of the day today. It's whatever announcement the teacher would like to draw your attention to. You also have a section that's called the latest changes. The latest changes lets you know if the teacher has made any changes that you maybe should be aware of to your course. And that could even be something that's already gone past in your lesson. So just keep looking at this page. The overview tab is a great way for you to keep up on what's happening inside your course. And that's the overview tab.